Hello world, welcome to video 152. Today I have for you the installation guide of the Cooler Master Hyper 212 Evo, which is compatible with current makes for Intel and AMD for their sockets up to like currently when this video is uploaded basically. So if there's any new ones that come out in the future time, it may or may not fit, but most likely Cooler Master would have released new CPU coolers for those new processors. So what you first want to do is to remove the current brackets on the front and also the back plate and then replacing it by the aftermarket CPU um, back plate which is shown right there that Cooler Master has provided which of course works both with Intel and AMD like I mentioned already. Uh, if you're skeptical of it working with the FM2 and 1150, unfortunately I do not have an example of this fitting onto the 1150, but I do have the example for the FM2 if some of you guys are using the AMD FM2, the A APU family. This here is an A8-5600K running at 3.6 gigahertz, uh, 3 megabyte L2 cache, I have not done overclocking at all on this. Uh, normal temperatures prior to installing this on my previous CPU uh, cooler was the Zalman CNP5, CNPS5X or something like that. It'll be in the description if you guys want to check it out. But I was running at 49.50 Celsius at idle, zero percentage on the processor. But yeah. And this is doing the same thing, but it's increased from 50 to 51 Celsius on idle, but it dropped uh, 6 Celsius when it's at max uh, temperatures and max uh, processing. So yeah, uh, once you've placed the backplate on there, you screw these mounts for the actual, uh, the mount for the cooler itself onto it, uh, making sure you go cross pattern, not tighten well tightening it but not too much so that the motherboard bends but you just want it to be tight on there not too loose so it does not fall off of onto your precious uh, expensive things so i'm just applying the thermal paste right here i know cooler master has nicely provided their own version of the thermal paste but i bought the arctic cooling mx4 anyways and you can see my graphics card there which is the geforce uh, GT610 which will be replaced soon enough on a newer and future video which you guys will of course see an unboxing on like always so I actually made a mistake on here as you can see the fan itself is still attached to the cooler I'd highly recommend to just install it by just the cooler itself then attaching that fan because it just makes it a lot easier when you're screwing it in and like prior, uh, previous to this, you, it's recommended to, like you don't have to, but it's recommended to go criss, uh, cross pattern just just to play it safe. But unfortunately, I didn't do it on that one. But oh well, um, if it needs to be replaced, it needs to be replaced, to be honest. So yeah, moving on. So once you got all those screws tightened on there, not too much, like I said earlier. Um, yeah, you place the fan back onto it. Cooler Master is nice enough to give us a second bracket to attach a secondary 120 millimeter fan onto it. So you can do a push and pull configuration or pull pull I guess. But push and pull is the best way. So you're drawing air from the back which I have this facing. I actually reversed it which you'll see in the video. Which is at the end like another, a separate clip at the very end on how it looks like when it's running and the, and the noise levels. Although I couldn't really tell as much since I was using the iPhone and the iPhone has really, really bad mics on it com compared to this one that I'm currently using to narrate this video with. So yeah, had a bit of hard time on there. Uh, placed that back. As you can see, I removed the RAM so it's easier for me to work around in there. Uh, sooner or later, I will be replacing this maybe with a Corsair H H100i or something else. Uh, liquid cooling so the temperatures are a lot lower because max I've seen it at is 82 Celsius with this cooler on there but 
like always, everything will be provided in the description below. So check it out to my previous cooler, this one, where to buy it and other things. And also pictures of those idols before and after. So yes, thank you for watching. And like I said, check the description. Thank you for watching this video and don't forget to check out my Facebook, Instagram and Twitter links that are in the description below for more information about new items which may be featured in future videos.